the Tesla's full self-driving is artificial intelligence, and it it is a totally different type of artificial intelligence than a large language model. It's taking, it's actually identifying things in the world. It uses cameras to see the same way that humans do, and it identifies things, and it can actually drive. Now, I've got a Tesla, and I just drove out to to um, Loudoun County today. The entire way was was full self-driving. The entire way back was full self-driving. There's one time that I had to turn it off because it doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't like uh, toll booths. It just wants to keep going through them. But, um, but for the most part, other than the toll booth, it was perfectly fine. There's something so interesting to me in that. So you're telling me that it works when it's having to recognize the reality around it and operate within reality, but language is all about control. And part of the problem I have with it is it wants to control our language. I understand what you're saying, but when you use the when you use the word it, ah. you're specifying all you're not specifying it. which one. You're talking about AI as all of them, all of AI is it, right? And it's not. Okay. A, a full full self-driving algorithm or the AI in full self-driving is a totally different machine, totally different algorithm, totally different thing from a large language model. We use this phrase AI as a blanket term and it's not really functional anymore. The way that AI is, the way that the, these technologies are evolving, it's not, it's not correct to say AI is all the same. Large language models are not the same as full self-driving, which are not the same as the AIs that will generate uh, video or audio. It's not the same as, you know, there, there are all these different types of AI. 